Hey, it's Luke. So we're going to practice this and the end goal is going to be to make a song completely from push without touching the computer at all. If you're wondering, this will work with push one, two, or push three. I actually have push one. Now I know on push three, there's a standalone mode and you can do the whole song in there without even having it plugged into your computer. But even having it set up as a MIDI controller is going to do exactly what we need it to. Now, if you're watching this and you don't really know where to start, don't worry. Stick around and I'll have a list of ideas that you can use to get started right away. You work on something each day and you try to get further and further each day afterwards. So you'll start with something basic, then learn what a couple of extra buttons do and go from there. And this will make you set up your workflow to work faster and probably enjoy it a little bit more. Slowly but surely, you're going to learn how to use every single button on your Ableton push. So you might load a sound, then try different variations of that sound and try to notice everything, like what the lights mean. Like you'll notice if you load up a device or a preset, the color of the button will turn amber. And if you switch to a different sound, it'll turn green again. And then you can press the amber button and load the next sound. So you can load up a whole bunch of sounds one after the other and see what they sound like in your project. And as you go and you're practicing every day, just trying to do as much as you can with the Ableton push, You'll probably want to go to the computer once in a while to set up things like favorites or categories or devices that you use really often so you can load them up in Ableton Push really easily. But here's that list that I mentioned of things you can work on. You can take a day and just hit shift and try it with every button to see what it does differently. You'll notice that shift makes buttons do different things and it can give you a second level of options that you can do with all of these buttons on the push. See how much you can edit right from push. This is a little bit tougher on push one. Push two and three do have that screen and you can adjust the start points and everything right on the screen on push. But you can still do it on push one with the knobs and the options at the top. You'll just be looking at your computer screen to see what it's doing. Now load up a synth or a plugin that you like to use and see how many of the knobs in the synth you can adjust right on Ableton push. So you'll want to use the MIDI map so you can make these knobs control whatever it is you want on your plugin. But see how much of it you're able to control right from here without having to go onto your computer with your mouse or your trackpad or whatever. Now I mentioned this in another video. I'll put a link up here somewhere. <laughs> but get fast at switching your touch strip back and forth between pitch bend and expression. Work on adding new tracks, new MIDI tracks, new effects. Play around with the quantize settings. There aren't a whole lot of them on the push. So there's more in the groove pool, but I really love the quantize on push. And if you hold down the quantize button, you can get some extra options to make it sound interesting. Learn how to delete effects and move around. Learn to work in session view and arrangement view and see how much you're able to do right on the Ableton push. Learn the volumes, the pans, the sends, the mutes, the solos, so you can control the mixer from push as well. We tend to forget about that. Over time, just learn what every single button does and try to get that muscle memory. So if you want to add a track, you know exactly where to go and you don't even have to think. So there we are. Just practice, practice, practice with the push. And you'll notice over time, your hands just go to the right button and you can work so much more quickly. All right. I hope that can help you make some great music. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.